You got an elevator in this house? We only live one flight up. Okay, so I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Uh, I'll give you a call about 11, 11.30, as soon as I get out of Mass. Well, you better make it around 2.30 because, well, I, I won't be home from my aunt's till then. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'll see you tomorrow night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Did you have a nice time? Yes, I did. I had a very nice time. I is Mama asleep? No, I'm not sleepy, dear. So you enjoyed yourself? Yes, I did. I'll tell you about it in a minute. He seemed like a very nice young man, that young doctor. Oh, well, actually, what happened is that... Oh, that fellow that Millie brought up here for me met a girl he knew at the dance, and, well, he left with her. I mean... Let me see if I can tell it to you with some kind of clarity. Millie and Andy and the young doctor and I went to the Stardust Ballroom and... Well, he actually didn't want to come on this date in the first place and... I don't know what Millie told him about me, but I'm sure he was very disappointed. Don't look so sad. I had a wonderful time this evening. I met a fellow. He's a butcher. And... Well, we sat in a luncheonette on Grand Concourse, I think, from 9 o'clock until midnight. Talking. That's all we did, talk. I was just trying to figure out why I enjoyed myself so much. We just sat and had pie. Oh, he, he's going to call me tomorrow. Oh, and I have something to tell you. I, I decided to take the job in Portchester because... Well, because it's really a question of maturity. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I could go on living here and being a little girl all my life, Papa. And by the way, the reason I mention the fact he's a butcher is because, well, he's going to call me tomorrow around 2.30, right after lunch, and well, he's very self-conscious about the social status of a butcher, and... Well, he's calling on the phone. He's, he's not coming over here, but... When he does, I just wanted to... Oh, we can cross that bridge when we come to it. You don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, I'll tell you about it tomorrow. You know, when we left the ballroom, he began to talk so much he, he couldn't stop. It was so funny, he just kept rattling and, and rattling and he... I don't seem to be able to stop talking now myself. Listen, I, I'm going to bed. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Oh, I, I, but I forgot to tell you. I expect a phone call around 2.30, so I, I won't be able to go to the movies with you. You... you did have a good time tonight, dear. Oh, yes, Ma. It was very pleasant. Well, I didn't 
understand much about that, did you? She said, you know, she was going to take that job. I'm glad. I love that girl so much, Alice. But she should learn to stand on her own feet. I hope that young man calls tomorrow at 2.30. I really do. <laughs> <laughs>